You're really loving that. Okay, hold on. Let me give you a little bite. Oh, oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Up here, look. That'll be for the kitty. Get one. Get a little piece. Yep. You want to tell? Oh, 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 here. Mom, here. Look at mom. Mommy's going to hand it to you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey. There. Cooked ham. Wonderful. Benjamin, you want to? And you want more. Okay, you're going to have to go sit and I'll get you some more. You good? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Welcome back today, friends. I am back with five brand new, quick and easy, dump and go crock pot meals. Today's video is a special collaboration with none other than Lemonade Mom. If you don't know my friend, Lemonade Mom, let me tell you about this genius. She has a ton of easy instant pot recipes. Also, crock pot freezer meals. She even has one video called the Instant Pot Beginner's Guide, which is a super helpful place to start. Lots of good instant pot accessories. So after you're done watching my video, with my new dump and go crock pot recipes head over to lemonade mom's channel and watch her new dump and go crock pot recipes video today we are doing ham potato and five bean soup i've been here prepping it i was about to dump it in wanted to be dressed and look sensible by this point and i'm not certainly certainly goes down around here anywho let me show you what is going in this soup and i promise later when i serve it i'll at least have my teeth brush Yes, it amen. So this is a four pound ham. I chopped two of it for this soup. The rest of it, I've got lots of other good recipes coming up, so you'll see that again soon. I have a whole onion. Sorry, toys are being driven off the counter. I have a whole onion diced up. This is five stalks of celery, five pounds of potatoes. Oh yes, I will do this recipe in my seven quart slow cooker. We're gonna use about two uh, cups of beef broth, Two cans of Great Northern Beans, two cans of Navy Beans, two cans of Butter Beans, two cans of Pinto Beans, and then just one big super mega can of kidney beans. I dump all the beans in, juice included. And then we have some spices. I don't even have those out yet. Where'd we go? It's going to put, doo -doo -doo -doo, gonna put parsley and then some basil, onion powder. Okay, so since I had a mishap, and I told you I chopped five pounds of potatoes, and I did. I chopped five pounds of potatoes like it was nothing. I ended up only being able to get about a pound and a half into that slow cooker. I just got in my chopping mode. Y'all know that I love to chop, was chopping the celery and the onion. Just wash those potatoes and got chopping them. So we did get the two pounds of ham in. We got all the beans, except I went ahead and left out one can of pinto beans in favor of a little bit extra ham. Don't worry, when I go off the rails, you can always go over to my site, largefamilytable.com. You can even go, it's jamrellstewart.com or largefamilytable.com. Anywho, the recipes are always linked in the description below. It's going to be fantastic, but let me tell you how I'm going to redeem that uh, three and a half pounds of potatoes that are now chopped and need something done with them. I'm gonna throw them in a second slow cooker and I'm gonna make some real quick potato soup as well. Don't worry, we'll eat it. Okay, so here's how our ham potato and five bean soup look before we put the lid on it. I'm going to put the lid on and cook it on low about six to seven hours. It'll be perfect for dinner tonight. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to also make some sausage and potato soup to just uh, totally redeem these potatoes. Okay, so maybe we'll call this redemption potato soup. I may think of all kinds of funny names. So I've got three and a half pounds of potatoes. I went ahead and chopped up a whole other onion five more ribs of celery this sausage I had bought batched cook a bunch of breakfast sausage for Travis and this was like about 12 sausage links so I chopped those up and I did a whole head of garlic all chopped up and in here now we're gonna get this dumped in the slow cooker and make this thing happen also you know this is how I go down I've got just this little piddly bit of baby carrots left I'm gonna dump those in Later, whenever we break down the soup some more, we'll break those down. Okay, in this redemption potato soup, I threw in 32 ounces of beef broth. And we will throw in some celery seed, onion powder. You can always figure anything I'm doing is at least a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And I will also throw in the equivalent of two full bay leaves. These are broken up. 
So now both of these soups, again, redemption potato and all kinds of kitchen sink soup pieces are in here. Gonna do that about six hours on low and then our big super mega pot because we know I only know mega and lots. This just drives that point home. Gonna cook that for six to seven hours on low. Okay, so now we're buzzing around, cleaning up, doing things, getting ready to eat. I will show you this ham and potato five bean soup. Turned out fantastic. And I'll show you our little uh, redemption soup. That looks pretty good too. Here is the ham and potato and five bean soup. That looks and smells fantastic. And then over here, we also have our potato and sausage redemption soup. I'm not gonna do anything to thicken it or do anything else fancy. It'll be just fine the way that it is. And here is what my bowl looks like. So with this seven quart slow cooker, cause you always all ask me about servings and such, Everyone in my family, including Benjamin, has had one bowl so far. So you can tell, it looks like it's about two thirds down. A few will have seconds, I'm sure, and then we'll have just a little bit left, probably for lunch leftovers tomorrow. And that is as far as a seven quart full slow cooker full of soup will go for our family. Now for other families, you will get several meals out of this, no problem. So now we are ready for our next two dump and go crock pot dinners. These dinners, I, I had this perfect little plan. When I do these like slow cooker recipes or sheet pan dinners, I like to actually make the dinner again for my family and just give you like a night by night. However, this week, every week, but this week in particular, I don't know, nothing bad, all good, but I just had some nights where I used some of my freezer meals because we had other things going on. Case in point, we didn't get back until 10.30 the other night from church. Just good life, good stuff, we're living it. All that to say, mama didn't get these crock pot meals filmed in a nice little neat dinner row like I wanted to. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna show you two crock pot meals I'm filming today in this hat. And then here in a minute, I'll be dressed for church and we'll do two more tomorrow. That just means my family is gonna be living off of leftovers the next few nights after I do these videos. That's the reality behind that. So for today, I'm going to show you how to do a really easy dump and go turkey meatloaf in the slow cooker. We're gonna actually make one for the crock pot and one for the freezer. That's a great way if you're just getting going on freezer meals as well. You just do one for that night, do one for the freezer. It's a nice way to build a freezer stash. The other thing we're gonna do, and my kids are so excited about this because they love it when I do this. You can do macaroni and cheese in the slow cooker. Yes, you can. I'm going to also put ham in it because I had bought two of, uh, let me pick it up, two of these hams here for different crock pot meals that I'm doing. So this one is going to have ham in it. You want to use a protein that's already pre-cooked so you're not dealing with draining the meat. You could cube up some ham. You could use some sausage. You could use ground beef. You could use already cooked and drained turkey burger. Any way you want to do it but I am using ham today. So we're gonna do this ham mac and cheese. We're gonna do this turkey meatloaf. Gonna be fantastic. You'll be proud of me. We already, we've been outside hiking several miles today, but it looks like it's gonna rain soon. Kids are outside getting a little bit more playtime in. Mama's getting tired. So it's definitely time to get these slow cooker meals a going because it's gonna be, be dinner time. I almost said better time. I was thinking of bedtime. Gonna be dinner time. Before I know it. Luckily, neither of these take that long. The, uh, the turkey meatloaf is about four hours on low, and this um, macaroni and cheese is anywhere from two to three hours on high, but you gotta eyeball it, make sure your noodles don't get mushy. So definitely at the two hour mark, check your mac and cheese.
Okay, now I'm gonna just put this extra turkey meatloaf in here. We'll use that another time. Naomi was my extra helping hands there with that turkey meatloaf, so now that's going in the slow cooker. Now we're gonna get that mac and cheese going in the slow cooker. on the back deck working because the weather was nice and then it became night and then it got chilly. So I'm gonna show you how these slow cooker meals turned out. Zion's helping me, he's putting dishes away. We're getting ready to do dinner. Then we're gonna do baths and go to bed because we got the privilege of going to church. Yeah, church in the morning, that's right. I came in about an hour ago and I made sure I, the macaroni was stirred well. It was done cooking. I unplugged it. You don't have to do this step. This is just what I did. So uh, when I unplugged it, the noodles were just about perfect. They were not mushy. And then I put two more handfuls of cheese on top and just let it sit here for another hour again while I finished up. I also got my letter board done earlier. I wanted to get that back out. And then we have the turkey meatloaf here. So now I'm gonna make the plates. So here's Amelia. She's got her baked macaroni from the slow cooker, green beans, and the turkey meatloaf. And here is Benjamin's. This mm -hmm. is gonna be for Liam. Happy Monday, a lot going on around here per our usual. Not even lunchtime yet. I already have just about, I'm at like 9,400 steps. So go mom. I just got to wake, waken, walking, and hiking around a bunch this morning. Kids were with me too. Anywho, today I'm going to do chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole in the crock pot. Oh yes, I am. I have recipes up over on my blog where I do multiple pans of this at a time. It's also a great freezer meal, but you can also do it in your slow cooker. It's another option as well. So I have about four pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. I already, when I went on my first hike this morning, I got those in the slow cooker and I cooked them on high for a few hours. Get your chicken cooked ahead however you wanna do it. I'm counting the broth from that as the two cups of broth I would throw into this recipe. So I'm gonna put the shredded chicken in there. I've got one can of cream of chicken soup. If you don't wanna use a can of cream of chicken or cream of mushroom, you can honestly put about two cups of sour cream and a little bit of butter in there, has the same effect. I have shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna not put the broccoli in until at the very, very end time, like last 30 minutes to the last hour. I'll put the broccoli in. I also am not going to put my broccoli in totally frozen. I'm going to let my broccoli defrost a little bit. Uh, what else is happening? I'm going to put in two cups of brown rice and six cups of water. So let's get all this dumped in and see what it looks like. Okay, Daniel's been here hanging out helping me. Now I'm just gonna stir everything to make those spices up. I added a teaspoon of pepper and salt and tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of parsley, and about four cups of cheese. Then I will put the lid on it and it's gonna cook on high for about three hours. And then of course at the end, towards the end there, I'm gonna add in broccoli and then we will cover it in another sprinkling of cheese. You excited about this, Daniel? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What you been doing? Well, you've been I'm working on to... you've been working on your Legos, haven't you? I did make a little spaceship by cheap when 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 these two guys these two guys keep crashing. Oh, they keep crashing in your Lego spaceship? Yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun. You were hiking with mama this morning, weren't you? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. up and down that road. Okay, but look what I almost done. I'm over here, I'm cleaning up my mess. I was getting ready to walk away. Crock pot's on high, but <laughs> good one, Mom. So, oh yes, I've done it several times in life. Step one to your dump and go crock pot meal. Always make sure it's plugged in for later. Yes and amen. Okay, so I just came out 
to take the lid, I almost said to take the chicken off, to take the lid off this chicken, broccoli, rice, casserole in the slow cooker. It's, uh, it's bubbling now. I've actually left it on for four hours on high it made it through. So now we're going to add in this broccoli. I'm honestly gonna go ahead and just unplug it. It's allowed to be unplugged now. So let's get this broccoli in and I'll show you what it looks like at this moment. Even though it's unplugged, everything is still bubbling hot. That should cook up those broccolis nicely without making them mushy, because we don't want mushy broccoli, but we don't want to sit around and babysit broccoli either. So I covered the top with some more shredded cheese. In about 30 minutes to an hour or so, when Travis and the kids get home, we will then have this for dinner, and I'll give you a peek then. Okay, family just got home. All the cheese is melted. Now we're gonna serve up this chicken broccoli rice from the crock pot for dinner. Yay! And here's how good it looks when it's all scooped out. Happy Tuesday morning, busy buzzy morning. Gonna be a lot of squealing because I hear Benjamin coming. Whole lot going on here, of course. We are getting all geared up and jazzed up to go do a bunch of gentle hiking. Bless you! Bless you! Bless you! With our homeschool group this morning, we're doing two trails and having lunch in the forest. It's gonna be a big fun time. So I am, I was gonna do my cranberry pork roast. I'm just not gonna do it because, and this is how things can change, that would require me to cut up a nine pound uh, tenderloin right now. I don't want to cut at the moment. Just again, gotta serve breakfast and stuff. So, I'm going to another tried and true uh, crock pot dump and go meal. It's just apricot chicken. It's where you dump in. So you see, I truly need to just do like a throw and go slow cooker meal right now. So I'm going to throw in the slow cooker about three to four pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast and I'm gonna throw in a little thing of apricot preserves and that's it. That's gonna be apricot chicken for tonight. Okay, so here we go. As simple as that, putting the lid on it. Gonna let it cook on high, and uh, that's it. We're out the door now. So we got green beans, mac and cheese, the apricot chicken, which I know like looks like pulled pork barbecue this evening. Mama got lazy when we got back from our hikes. I actually laid down and took an hour nap. It's been a long day. Uh, chicken sat a little long, that's okay. We'll still eat it, still smells great. And some applesauce. Also over here, I just pulled some collie rice out of the oven. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me over this last week. I think it has been almost a week while well, I have made these five new dump and go crock pot meals. I hope you like them. And if you want the recipes in detail for any of them, just head over to largefamilytable.com, click the link in the description below, and I'll have them all there for you. Don't forget to head over and check out my friend Lemonade Mom. I know her recipes are gonna be amazing. I know her apricot chicken won't end up looking like pulled pork barbecue at the end of a long day, but that's okay, because it still feeds these people. We're gonna have a game night now. I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.